All right, so it's been a while, but if I recall correctly, we have homework to do. So let's open the browser, figure out what we were doing. Um, for those who do not remember, we were at the end of the control flow, which is the end of chapter three, and at the bottom of chapter three, they gave us homework. And the first homework assignment is to convert Convert temperatures between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Okay, so I have an editor. I already created a project. I called it F to C, something generic. And I already have some tabs open. So Fahrenheit to Celsius. We know these are temperatures, but we need to know the for formula for them. Made it bigger so you guys can see it. So let's start with, ignore this. Let's just make a function, right? And let's call this F to C, where we take in Fahrenheit and convert it to Celsius. Yes, take in Fahrenheit and convert it to Celsius. At least that's the one that's here. So function F to C, let's take in an integer. So I believe that can be, let's call it temp, give it a type, I32. And for now, let's return an I32. I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna be an I32 or not, but we'll find out. All right, so we have a function where we take it in temperature and we haven't returned anything yet. If I recall correctly, not having a semicolon at the end means that we're returning something. So if we wanted to, as of right now, we could say, print this out, F to C equals, and do F to C, and we pass in, let's say 10. And hopefully, if we ran this, it will just compile. Cargo run. Ah, I misspelled a word. Word. I misspelled a word. Tempt. As in temperature. Get rid of this dialog. Try that again. All right, so we have a function where something comes in and just returning something. Now we have to start thinking about these mathematical formulas or formula. So we do F, which comes in, which we're going to have the temperature. Tempt. Um, one thing we didn't note is whether or not temp is mutable. Pretty sure we can just put it there. Now, if temp is mutable, then we can do actions on it. Let's say temp is equal to temp minus 32. See what that gives us? Okay, yeah, 10 minus 32 is negative 22. Now the next part is interesting. We're dividing by a float. So as you guys probably know, in Rust, well, we can't, let me just show you explicitly. If we try to divide temp, let's say is equal to temp divided by 1.8. Does this return? Hold on, this is gonna be interesting and it gave us an error because we're trying to do division between two separate types uh, so we cannot use a i32 and divide it by a float given that this is a float and we have to divide by a float they have to be the same type and since they have to be the same type we have to do some conversions I did this once before it wasn't in the book but I believe we can do something like let tempt 
equal, so redefine tempt, and then say tempt as and give it a type. F32, I believe, is the type. And here, since we said we're returning an I32, do this. So let's see if this runs and then I'll explain it. And now we got negative 12. All right, so let's go back for a second. In this first line on line six, we have tempt minus 32. What's, it's fine. We changed the value of tempt because it's mutable, we can do that. And then we did casting, or uh, not casting, shadowing. Shadowing is the term that they use. We we'll redefine tempt to make it be another type and we said temp as F32, which converted it from a, um, a si signed integer, I32, to a float that is 32-bit. And then we divided it by another float, which gave us 1.8. And then after that, we a float divided by a float, we have a type float. We wanted to convert the type float to an integer because that is our return value but as of right now it kind of seems to make more sense if we just return in a float or decimal number so let's change this to f32 right and get rid of that let's try this again so now we have 12 negative 12.222 repeating which is fine um, other things that we can probably change there's no reason for this to be mutable. I, mean, I did it for convenience earlier, but we can just use shadowing the entire way through. And then let's run it again. All right, so now let's see if it's accurate. So on this tab, I have a Fahrenheit to Celsius calculator. It says one equals negative 17.22222. So let's try that out. One. Okay, I rounded up. Just to be clear, let's do another one. Let's do 32, which should be zero, but we'll see what happens. That gave us zero. All right, so now let's do it the other way around. So for the first function, we did Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's create another one, C Celsius to F Fahrenheit, C to F. And we can do the same process, taking a temperature, let's make it a integer, and let's return a float since we know that's gonna be convenient. F32. Um, so let's go back to the formula to do some basic algebra. It looks like we take the temperature in this is Celsius in this in this function. We multiply it by 1.8, and then multiply by 1.8 f minus. Then we add 32 to both sides of the fraction. But we'll we'll see. So tempt use shadowing tempt equal tempt times 1.8 given that 1.8 is a float and temp is not a float that's probably going to error out but let's change that later let's let's just return temp and see if it errors out and it did as expected we cannot multiply an integer with a float so we can use the same trick as we did earlier and cast it. So tempt, which is currently an integer, make that a float. And then we should no longer have an error. We're also not currently not printing it out, which we should. But let's do one more thing. Tempt. So we multiply both sides by 1.8 and now we have to add 32. And I'm not sure if that will work, but it may work. 
Let's see if it errors out, and if it doesn't, then we can write a print statement. And it errored out. Okay. So we can use the same thing we were doing earlier, or we, where were we cast it, cast this float back to an integer. Or another way we can go about it, I guess, is to make 32 a float. And that in itself said correct things. So now we don't have an error, but we have a warning. This function, C2F, is never used. So let's use it. So let's do another print macro. Let's go F, oh, C, C to F equals C to F. Uh, let's do zero, see what happens. And then end it right there. Run that. Okay. So we have F to C, zero, C to F, 32. In terms of the printout, that's not very explicit. We can change that. But in summary, we'll be taking F to C, as in 32 goes in, and then what comes out is zero. But let's change that here, just to make it more explicit as to what we're doing. F to C, make that a function call, add something there. I keep the space. The number that we're passing in is 32. Let F equal 32. So print F, give it a space, make UF, and then for Celsius, let C equal, we currently have it at zero. Do the same thing down here, C to F. C and pass in C. And given that all the types match, so this should run. And now we have something that's a little bit more explicit. It says F to C, we pass in 32 and we got out 0. C to F, we pass in 0 and got out 32. All right? So let's mess around with these numbers just to make sure it works as expected. Uh, let's make this, let's look at our chart. Yeah. I know sometimes in the East Coast and get to 98 degrees. So let's make F 98. And let's test this out with 36. C 36. And see if it's roughly the same. Given that we're not passing in decimals, it's not going to be completely accurate. But let's see how far off we are. And looks like we're on the money, at least for the first one given that the second one expected decimals in order to get all the way back to 98, we got close, 96 degrees, 0.799995. Uh, and with that, we have just created functions for Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit in Rust. Ooh, but one thing that we should do is refactor a little bit. So if you notice, the Celsius to Fahrenheit is only two lines, while the Fahrenheit to Celsius is three lines. We can probably just get rid of this last line. Ooh. And get rid of this as well. And now they're both two lines. And this is still work as expected. Yeah. Um, anything else we can do to simplify this? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. Well, congrats. We have done the first homework assignment. Hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.